What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. Today we're talking about YouTube thumbnails. Yes, let's go. The key to a good thumbnail for me personally is the typography and the photo itself but also it should match what the video is about. As I mentioned before, your thumbnails, your banner, that's all gonna give people an idea of what your content looks like. So make sure you shoot a photo that represents the video or just take a screen cap from the video and then that's the easiest way to make sure that it looks the same. If you caught my video with Lizzie Pierce a couple of weeks ago, we talked about the YouTube banner, but we didn't talk about thumbnails at all. As I mentioned in those videos, I'll mention it here again. The design of your channel is the first thing that people are going to see when they come to your channel and that's kind of going to give the audience an idea of what your content looks like. So if you are followers of this YouTube channel, you know that a couple of weeks ago, shit, it was like a couple months ago. A couple months ago, we went to Arizona and that was like my dream. So today I'm going to give you guys an example of how to make kind of like a travel lifestyle thumbnail. And I'm gonna use a photo that I took during that trip. And then later on, I'll show you how to take a screenshot of your video and then use that in the thumbnail. This is a Photoshop tutorial. So if you don't know Photoshop, well, you should learn Photoshop. It is a very valuable skill to have. You can also use an app like Canva or PicMonkey. The same kind of concepts apply. I am just gonna bring this to my lap. Okay, I'm gonna open up Photoshop and I'm gonna make a new document and the size is gonna be 1920 by 1080. That's the standard HD resolution. So if you're taking screen caps from your videos, it's gonna be the same ratio, same size. So you should be good to go. And I'm gonna click create. And I need my layers palette back, please. Ugh. I am working on a Mac, so all of the keyboard commands I talk about today are Mac commands. You can look them up for PC. So I have a photo picked out. I'm just gonna open this in Photoshop. Okay, I have my photo open. I'm just gonna double click to unlock that background layer. I'm gonna go Command A to select all, Command Shift C to copy. Then I'm gonna close it, and then I'm gonna Command V, and that should paste the photo in there. It's not quite the right size. I am going to scale it up. The thumbnail is gonna be quite small, so Things don't have to be like intricately, perfectly done for the viewing distance. It's not really gonna matter. Seriously, train, please ignore. I can either go edit, transform, and uh, scale, but I like to use keyboard commands because it saves time. Command T is transform so long as your layer is unlocked. So that brings up these little boxes here. I'm gonna hold shift and option, and that's basically gonna lock the aspect ratio and lock it to the center. I am going to just scale that up to where I'm pleased with it. And I'm gonna move that down because I'm gonna to wanna to put my text above Chris's head. I might readjust that a little bit later. So hit enter to make that transformation happen. So what I want my title to say is Grand Canyon Travel Vlog. That's not normally how we uh, name our episodes. We usually go episode one, two, three, whatever. Um, but today I'm just gonna show you how to do that. So in order to get type on your photo, you're gonna hit T on your keyboard. That's gonna bring up the type tool. So I'm just gonna click once and I'm gonna type out Grand Canyon. It's a, it's a bit small, so if I go Command A, that will select the type entirely, and you can change the size here. Uh, what I personally prefer to do is actually uh, scale it myself by holding Shift to make sure that the text doesn't get skewed, and then I'll just make it as big as I want, and when I'm happy with it, hit Enter. Now, that is not the font I want to use, but I do like that font, so I might use that for the travel vlog Headline. So I'm just going to make a, another text box down here. I'm going to say travel blog. And I'm going to want that to be all caps. So again, I'm going to select all of the type by going command A on my keyboard. I'm going to go up here to character and I'm going to make this all caps by hitting this double T all caps button. Boom. Done. I'm going to let that chill there for a sec and I'm going to work on the Grand Canyon type. So I'm going to come back up here on my layers palette. As you can see, Every time I've used the type tool, it creates a new layer on, in the layer palette there. So these are the titles that you'll be able to edit here. So I'm gonna go back up to Grand Canyon. I'm just gonna uh, double click on that to select it. And I'm gonna change the font. I'm gonna use this font called Ball Pen. As you can see, if I zoom in, there's like a lot of space and that looks kind of bad. It looks like shit. I wanna tighten up those spaces. So I'm gonna go again, Command A to select all of the type. Come up here to the character tool. And as you can see here, the tracking is set to 200. So I'm just gonna bring that back to zero. Usually with the script font, you want the tracking to be at zero anyway. Usually they're designed not to have any spaces in between the letters. C-A-N-Y-O-N, Canyon. 
I'm a terrible speller, FYI. If you're doing a thumbnail, make sure everything is spelled correctly. I like that font, but I want it to be a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna hit Command T again to transform. You can use that keyboard command to transform any layer that you're on. I'm gonna just hold Shift again to make sure that the ratio of the text stays the same and it doesn't get stretched out. And then I'm just going to move it down now let's take this travel vlog title. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Keep in mind that when you're making these titles that they look great in Photoshop nice and big, but they're not always displayed nice and big. And a lot of times they're gonna be showed on the sidebar and that's gonna be pretty small. So you wanna make sure that your type is readable. And so if you're picking like a smaller font, make sure it's a little bit thicker so you can read it and then you might wanna make it a little bit bigger. And I actually find that a little bit too big. So I'm just gonna make that a little bit smaller. I'm just going to play with this and integrate this in with the script font. I'm gonna add a couple of spaces here. You can use your up, down, left, and right arrows to move things intricately. It's kind of hard to read the Grand Canyon type. So I'm gonna move up my photo a little bit by selecting that, I'm gonna use my up arrow. If you want it to go faster, you can hold shift and use the up arrow. So now we have more of a darker area. So I'm gonna select the Grand Canyon type and the travel vlog type. I'm just going to adjust it up a little tiny bit. You can scale both the text at the same time. If you select both of them and hit Command T, you can scale them both at the same time. So now my layer mask looks a little janky. So I'm gonna just zoom in here and fix it up using that B brush. Make sure you're selected on the layer mask there. And the fun thing about design guys is that you can kind of play with layer masks to make your designs look more interesting. You don't have to do this. You can just put the type right on top of the photo and it looks fine. This just is a little more effort. It can look a lot cooler and more custom. And we are done. So I'm just gonna save that always be saving because you never know when the shit is gonna crash. If you wanna take a screen cap from your video, there's two ways you can go about it. If you're on a Mac, if you go Command Shift 4, it brings up this little target and you can basically click and drag to wherever you want the screenshot. So I'm just gonna click up here, I'm gonna hold and I'm gonna drag over this whole thing here. Boom, done. Uh, there is a function in Premiere. If you go to the little camera, you hit that and you can export a screen grab. Once you are done, you're gonna to wanna to save that as a JPEG. The Photoshop file will not be compatible on YouTube, so command shift S, you're gonna to wanna to come down here, hit JPEG. It's up to you what text you wanna put on your thumbnail. Again, keep it simple, keep it readable, and uh, you don't even have to use text. You could just, you know, use a banger photo if you have one. I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna lay it. So that is it, guys. Let me know in the comment box below if you have any questions. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. We will see you in the next one. Bye! Just come on. I have a new computer. I don't know why I didn't use it. No doy. P.S. If you're not watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine, you should be. It's the best show ever.